Welcome to Black is Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadia. Mm, you already know. This is a reading for my Capricorns. So go ahead and buckle up your seatbelts. And let's go. Y'all welcome to your prayers that you open up my third eye for my Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm your doctor's reading, I ask you to send them back to where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. Uh-uh, I'm always almost burning down the house. Mm-mm, yeah. Y'all, I'm getting so many messages in my head right now. I got some tea to tell y'all. I got some tea to spill. I got some tea to spill. I got somebody. So I got to go ahead and expose somebody's feelings that they got for you, baby. So... Somebody has not blown out the flame, the candle, when it comes to you, Bookie. Okay? Somebody still is holding on to very, very strong feelings for you. They crushing. They are they are fiending. They're lusting. They're um reminiscing. They're um <laughs> plotting because you got somebody who was an old flame. Somebody that you used to have some type of romantic connection to. This person, they want them some of you. Mm -hmm. they want some of you and they plan on either winning you back some way or just blatantly just telling you it's now or never like i want to be with you do you want to be with me i still love you i still got feelings for you i still want you i'm still attracted to you i can't stop thinking about you capricorn somebody really got some really heavy feelings for you really heavy really really heavy this could be somebody that you used to talk to in the past or to somebody that you may be currently getting to know. But this person wants some of you. Let's just be real. <clears throat> Why wouldn't they? Anyway, you got an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius who is wondering like, hmm, will Capricorn ever come back to me though? Hmm. Should I reach out to Capricorn? Hmm. I kind of still have feelings for Capricorn. Mm. But does Capricorn still have feelings for me? Mm. I don't know now. What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? What does Capricorn need to know and be aware of? God damn. Oh, we. Okay. You know how I was telling you that you got somebody that is really, really missing you, really got like this flame for you, really, really has these feelings for you. Throw that, sh throw that thought away. The only reason why they have this flame burning for you, the flame is coming from down there. The flame is coming from the loins, the sexual loins. Okay, this person's a liar. <laughs> but they manifest you back into their life, though. They're attracted to you. Don't get me wrong. Okay, but I don't really get this is a relationship type of person. I feel like if you already knew this person, this person was very sneaky. They probably snuck around with you, you know, unintentionally. On your behalf, it was unintentional to sneak around with somebody, right? This is somebody who could have possibly been in a, rela been in a relationship prior to y'all two fucking with each other. But um, I really just feel like you're being told to keep your distance, which is a fact. Yeah, this person may have feelings for you. But you're being told, no, no. This person probably has hit you up about going on a date. But you just are being told to move on, Capricorn. Move on. This is somebody who is non-committal, emotional, most likely a water sign, which is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But this is somebody who is going to reach out to you. This is somebody who's probably already reached out to you in hopes of going on a date. They probably asked you out on a date. Something very casual like brunch, coffee, something that's very simple. But this person's still a liar. And the only thing that they really, 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 really want is somebody that's going to fuck them right. And they know Capricorn, you're a beast in the bathroom. You're a beast in the bedroom. Bathroom everywhere. But this person probably can move. But this, probably, this person probably like lives very close to you. Damn, you're probably even across the street. I'm just saying. Same complex, down the street, all that. But, um, yeah. If 
you give this person a chance, you're going to wish that you never did. This is somebody who probably is very, um, mm, I feel like maybe that maybe they, I don't I just feel like this person may not be as stable as, um, they may come off as, like this person may have nice things, but I don't know if they are, you know, stable in a way of, um, I just want to say this person may not have a nine to five. Uh, uh, that <laughs> they may okay let's just be real what i'm trying to say is they may have a nine to five but where their money come from is not from a nine to five so they may be a um drug dealer scammer um they may do have like they may have like little side hustles mechanic um something but yeah <laughs> let's get you a good truth but this person I just want you to bounce on it, twirl on it, lick on it, suck on it, touch on it, rub on it, put your fingers in it, put your ass on it. I don't know. This person is just horny, baby. And they know that sex is always good with you. And you look good. And you smell good. Yeah, I don't really get any love there. I just get passion, a flame. This may be your twin flame as well, but um, it's really just giving like a karmic twin flame. Like it feels so good and to be around this person. It's intoxicating to be around this person and to talk to this person, but they're not good for you. You know what I mean? It's like, that's this is the type of twin flame that you just keep at a distance because it had to be hot and fiery in the beginning, but in the end, it's going to be explosive in a bad way. Let me say this again. This relationship with this person will be very hot, steamy, sexy, and fiery in the beginning. But in the end, it's going to be explosive. Shit is going to blow up in your face. Hot and fiery in the beginning. Blowing up in your face in the end. Anyway... Don't touch that fire now. I'm trying to tell you. What is the hidden truth for Capricorn? What is the hidden truth for my Capricorns? What is the hidden truth for my Capricorns? Oh, Lord. This person loves you. They can't stop thinking about you. When you and this person dealt with each other, the time it wasn't right. This person was a player. You probably was in your player mood. This person probably was in a relationship. You were single. You was in a relationship and this person was single whatever this person wishes they treated you better whenever they had you they i'm hearing in their head please allow me to show you that i can treat you better mm. this person is saying that you and them were too young they, they probably just is speaking on like the mindset that both of you all were kind of childish in that okay in the sense of being with each other you all both kind of used each other as a distraction from whatever was going on in you all in separately in you all's life or it could have just been completely one-sided and they used you as a distraction from what was going on in day life okay this person does lose sleep about you they do stay up late at night drinking and you know thinking about you even if they're not drinking they just they could be sitting on the couch watching a movie and they're just thinking about you conversations as well as memories play in their head like it's movies and this person feels like you may never ever come back to them they feel like you're leaving them behind they feel like you are um excelling in life they feel like you may you know may, you just I just feel like this is just not your vibe no more. This is not your vibe no more. And they just feel like, I feel like they have a fear that they are not your vibe no more. They have a fear that they are not your bop no more. Bop, bop, bop. Okay, okay. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, a lot of you all did, um, was with this person when they had somebody. Um, it could have been a very serious relationship they were in, even a marriage, or this person was trying to make it work with their baby mama, baby father, whatever. They weren't single, okay? Some of you all didn't know that, and some of you all stayed when y'all did find out that. I'm not judging you, baby. Do you? Sometimes we got to get our last little feel before we realize this ain't nothing for, this ain't good for us, okay? But anyway, this person um, is scared that you're just going to leave them completely alone, you know, never, ever, ever come back. For some of you all, y'all will never, ever come back. And for the ones who are just wanting this shit to blow up in their face and want to have a good little time in the beginning and experience the worst heartbreak of their life in the end by all means you do that but don't come to me asking me who they fucking with okay because i'm not going 
I'm gonna answer you. But I'm gonna still I'm gonna, I'm still gonna gather you together because you knew better. You knew the outcome. You knew that. But anyway, like I said, let's go back. Let's bring it back. When you did deal with this person back in the day, this person was not single. And a lot of y'all left this person. But you wasn't gonna play you wasn't finna play the background. You wasn't finna be a side dude, side woman. You wasn't finna be sideline pimping. You said it's either me or them. And they didn't and they didn't make their mind up fast enough. You said, that's okay, bitch. I'm gone. Mm-hmm. I'm gone. You ain't gotta worry about me. You ain't gotta worry about me. That's what you did, and you did and you got and you went on about your business. And this person, it was very much a shock to them because they never had somebody that just can just up and leave. This is somebody that's probably very attractive. Very, very attractive. And they're just not used to people just being like, okay. I can find some I can find somebody better. It's more it's more fish in the sea. But you did that. So this is I feel like this is the reason why you're forever like on this person's brain is because you are the one that got away. I feel like this person knew and know, still knows that you are the one for them, even if you even if you are a karmic twin flame to them, or they may be a karmic twin flame to you. But this person it's just the passion, the flame that burns between you all. It is the soul tie that holds you all together. This person is very codependent, very clingy, very like needy on your energy. This is somebody who would be okay with you just cussing them out. They just want any ounce of your attention. Any They want to be seen by you so bad. Mm, 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 mm. Current relationship for my Capricorns. Current love life for my Capricorns. Current love life. Current love life. Oh, y'all, I forgot those was the last card. But this person wishes that they could take back everything they did, everything they said. They just wish that they could just start over with you. For real, for real. Okay? For the ones who are single right now, focusing on your spiritual your spiritual side, your spirituality, focusing on yourself, you know, keeping yourself up, working on yourself. Ooh, baby. Thank you. You do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Working on you is the best move okay but um what i'm finna say is <clears throat> the ones who are single all right you don't even have to be single you can be currently getting to know somebody or even dating somebody right now in a relationship <sighs> this person that wants you back real bad your um karmic twin flame this person single right now okay single yeah they still fine this person may be on the dark side when it comes to spirituality. Maybe just a little bit dark. You know, they kind of dibble and dabble in some wild shit. Mm -hmm. This person does hold on to a lot of passion for you. They hold on to a lot of sexual kinky thoughts of you, memories of you. But very soon, this person is going to try to basically, you know, get you back and hold on to you at this point. It may be very, it's going to be very toxic. Okay, let's just be real. This relationship is going to be very toxic if you choose to be with this person point blank period if you like toxic shit this is your toxic bitch okay i'm being real with you i'm being real with you but this person is a player that's what i'm saying it's gonna be toxic capricorn you can be a player this shit gonna be toxic it's gonna be very tit for tat it's gonna be very cat and mouse very hot and cold but the sex is gonna be amazing i'm just saying I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Let's get you some. Oh, hold up. Wait, we forgot about our singles. We forgot about our singles. Let's bring it back. Give me some love messages for my singles, Capricorns. Give me some love messages for my single Capricorns. Give me some love messages for my single Capricorns. For my single Capricorns. For my single Capricorns. Capricorn, if you're single right now, you're going to begin to know somebody really, 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 really soon, okay? Before the summer starts and before or when the summer ends, okay? But I feel like right now you're trying to just work on yourself, get yourself together, find yourself, know yourself, build yourself up. And I feel like you are allowing the most how to bring you in somebody, okay? And if it don't feel like, you know, what you want, if it's not what you want, they don't look like what you want, they don't have what you want, they don't move like what you want. They don't foot like what you want. They don't eat like what you want. You're not sticking around. Okay? You have learned a lot of things going into and out of relationships. 
you have learned what red flags look like and every type of red flag that they may that there is you know what you want you know how you like to be loved you know that you like somebody who is grounded in their spirituality grounded with themselves and you don't mind being single until you find exactly what you want. Until you find somebody that is actually wanting to be married, not just dating to date, dating to settle the fuck down. Okay? And you're going to get that very soon. But for right now, you're making yourself happy and you're pouring into yourself and you're finding new hobbies that you like to pour into so you don't become a mental a mental case thinking about your love life things of that nature okay okay and a lot of you all are just single playing around playing the field doing your thing shaking ass showing titties wearing booty shorts got your hoochie daddy clothes on you just doing you baby that's just what i'm just saying you're focused on you and you're not accepting anything that you don't want nor deserve and that is boss of you capricorn okay but you're gonna end up meeting somebody so just know that all right this person is going to be very giving as well if you are currently dealing with somebody in an i'm um, in a like a dating sense or in a relationship sense if you are the capricorn who is not single the person that you are with is very giving as well it's a, it's between the relationship between you and this person is like very give and take it's just like very healthy okay but i also have to tell you about the person that wants you back that the toxic relationship that some of you all may end up grooving back into because i know you capricorn you're just gonna keep it on the hush hush mm -hmm. but anyway this person is very giving as well most likely a provider type and that's probably what attracts you so much to this person because they fine and they are a provider i get it that's sexy as hell too but this person is very toxic and with it with and with you with this person together y'all are gonna be oh a storm in the worst way Give me some advice for Capricorn. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Give me some advice for Capricorn. Okay. <sighs> yeah, like I said, the relationship that you're currently in is very give and take, very healthy, you know, very loving, very growing. This person, you know, is somebody that um builds you up more than they knock you down. I don't even think this is somebody that knocks you down. They don't do none of that. They don't even raise their voice at you for real, for real. And for the ones who are single, you're going to get somebody who wants to build you up and not tear you down. That's some good shit. That's the provider type of mentality. Clock that T. And anyway, back to when I, back to the toxic motherfucker. <sighs> they like to give a lot, but they're also going to take a lot from you. You're going to, let's just say, oof. You're going to be broke. You're going to, mm, mm, mm. I don't even know what to say. I just feel like this relationship, the toxic one, it's going to be a little, I feel like it's going to be, very, it, it can turn like very like um physical, if you know what I mean. Physical, if you know what I mean, you know? Maybe somebody may need stitches in this relationship, if you know what I mean. But that's if you like toxic shit. I'm not going to keep you from nobody, right? It's, it, it, Free will, free choice. You can go and fuck with the karmic twin flame if you want to because it's hot and sexy over there, but it's toxic over there. You can stay with the person that you're currently with that's very giving, loving, caring, still a provider. The singles, for my singles, you can either stay single, go to toxic town, or wait on somebody who is a provider to come into your life. I'm not judging you, Buki. I'm just saying make the best choice. Anyway, because I see some of y'all going for a one-night stand with this toxic motherfucker and starting some shit that you can't handle. Now you got that person stalking you out your, outside your window. Slashing your tires, because who? where you going? <laughs> who you playing with? Okay, trying to say, give me some tea for my Capricorns. Give me some tea for my Capricorns. Give me some tea for my Capricorns. Give me some tea for my singles who are manifesting a new love connection. Be careful because they may be sneaky, but I don't really get that it's this person that's sneaky. The 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 new love connection that is trying to manifest into your life. I'm about to spit some. I'm about to spit some real shit now. 
this is that toxic motherfucker, right? Their energy is really, really, really in your energy. Like, this is somebody who is, like, really, really focused on gaining you back. But they still sneaky. Yes, they may want to move in together, but you... Ooh! This sneaky, toxic person, I think they may have herpes. Or in the future, they may, they may end up getting herpes. Mm. Mm. Anyway, you're being told to catch flights and not feelings, baby. Mm. The reason why I say this person may get herpes in the future or may already have herpes is somebody who is a dirty ass hoe. Freaky ass, freak nasty bitch. Freak nasty dude. Okay. They be at work having work days. It's somebody who's a very big flirt. They party a lot as well. They may drink a lot. They do a lot of late hotel, late night hotel visits. They be fucking. Oh, they be fucking. That's why it's going to be toxic if you fuck with this person. Because you're going to be pulling up at the crib, pulling up at these hotel rooms, catching this person cheating, putting your hands on this person. They putting their hands on you. They catching you doing shit. It, don't do it. Don't save yourself. Save yourself from all that. Unless you like that type of stuff. Unless you like her. Unless you like having a little bump bump. Anyway. Also, you need to know that your friends are fake. This could be for some of you all. Y'all have friended this toxic person. Some of y'all told this person, I don't want to, I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want none of that going on. I don't want to get into me. I just want to be friends. And this person agreed to it just to have you in their life. So just know they faking the funk. If you have friends on somebody that you were intimate with, they are not your friend. Cut the fuck out. <laughs> Cut the fuck out. Okay. Anyway, let's get you some angel messages. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Give me some angel messages for my Capricorns. Give me some angel messages. For my Capricorns. Give me some angel messages. You being oh, for some of you all, I already see you all taking a risk on this person that's toxic. I ain't judging you, but I'm a side eye you though. Anyway, you got prosperity and success coming for yourself. Continue to do what you're doing is making you that money, okay? Don't let nobody make you feel like what you're doing is not good enough. I don't give a fuck if you work at McDonald's, baby. At least you got that money coming in. Thank you. You're going through a change as well when it comes to your love life, when it comes to your overall health, when it comes to your wealth, when it comes to your look. Hmm. A new elevation, okay? Also know that you are, on, you are on the right track of whatever you're doing and wherever you're going. And you're not alone. So I always ask for the most high to help you with whatever, whatever you may need, okay? You also have good luck, good health, and joy on your side. You been feeling good lately. Yeah, I know it. I know it. I know it. Be careful of your overspending Capricorn. Bills pop out any day. They show up. They show up like Debo. Give me that shit. So start saving your money. If it's not something that you need or you really, really desperately want and you know that you're going to use for a while, don't buy it, baby. Don't buy it. Trust yourself and your life choices, especially when it comes to people trying to come back into your life, especially when it comes to people that are entering in your life. Just make the best choices for your life because you got to think about it like this. Every step you make and every decision that you make today and any other day affects your future. Remember that. Anyway, and also continue to have that strength, the endurance, the perseverance of just basically just your just being able to get through the struggles that happens in your life. The crazy ups and downs that coming in coming in and out of your life. The change, the adversity that you have to just, you know, go through and put up with to just, just be yourself. Just continue to just eyes on the prize, Capricorn. Eyes on the prize. Okay. And let's get you a to-go message. What is the to-go message for my Capricorn? Give me a closing message. Give me a closing message for my Capricorns. Give me a closing message. 
balance capricorn you it, it's all about balance when it comes to let's just example okay dieting a balance a healthy balance yes you can eat healthy five days out the week and then two days out the no one day out the week hold up <laughs> Woo! anyway bless me um what i was saying yeah you can eat healthy five days out the week. One day out of the week, you go crazy, eat whatever you want to do, eat cheat day. And then one another day out of that week, the seventh day, you do it as a, a detox, right? You're drinking water only. You have to have balance in life. With everything that you do, balance. When it comes to your finances, one day out of the month or out of the year, you do an expensive haul of stuff that you want to do, want to have, want to get anything like that and then throughout the year you save your money and you spend your money wisely have a balance and you won't be somewhere going crazy pulling out your hair because you not expect for crazy things to just be occurring because you didn't plan for it anyway self-love love yourself capricorn fuck who don't like you period you got somebody wanting to come back to you but we already know it's the toxic sexy motherfucker we already know and look around because somebody's watching you. It could be somebody that has hired a private investigator or somebody toxic that wants to come back. But anyway, anyway, Capricorn, this was your reading. I hope that you got everything that you need to know. Good luck to the ones who are going to go back to this toxic person. I wish you well. Get your condoms. Get your, get your dental dams ready because they got herpes but anyway you didn't hear from me i want to say thank you all for the love and support you all do show me every day thank you all for the donations mm, mm, mm. i love them so much also if you want to find me on social media or give me on a phone call for a personal reading everything is in my description be careful be careful of scammers pretending to be me on social media or even just you in your in your email i don't know they're going crazy they're going wild be careful. Everything is in my description. Where to find me? Don't get got. Bye, Capricorn. Love yourself just as much as I love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.